Hey, what's up, guys? And this is Nishro here. So, look at where we are. Um, so, recently, I've, uh, well, I haven't been able to make any videos recently. Uh, well, I have, just, I can, due to my situation, all that. So, now, um, because, you know, the whole laptop thing, and now, uh, I said that I would try to uh, bring the channel up and running up by April, so um, I'm still on that. Uh, it's, I'm telling you, we're gonna get through this. Anyway, uh, so that's all I wanted to say before I really start this video. Um, and also, uh, during the time that I've slacked off, you could say, um, I've been look looking at my past videos. Uh, basically, I'm gonna try to fix my ways. You could say uh, I'm trying to solve all the things that are uh, wrong with my channel, and uh, I make sure this is lit. Let's go. You go fax the eighth, ninth. No, let's see. Card hold position. Dante's that hard. Today we will be talking about the whole thing, the whole controversy with uh, how people think uh, Patrick Hoban cheated at the tournament, when in reality, he didn't really cheat. Now, that doesn't mean he, that doesn't mean that he's not a dickhead, because that's, that's a whole, those are two different things, you know, being cheating and being a dickhead, that's two different things. Now, the reason I'm saying that he didn't cheat, alright, so... Uh, and he even made an article on this too, but you know, I, 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 I'm not biased, so I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying what he did was good, but anyway, uh, so basically he, so he was facing, uh, so it was a mirror match, net cross, most likely, because it was, it was about a gen, uh, the gen, the one that, that stopped special summons, and, um, basically, uh, they, both of them had it in their deck, and they both agreed to side it out because they both thought it was too unfair, and they wanted to really like have a good duel. So what Patrick Hoban did, like like giant cocky deck he is, um, he sided he sided a, a gin out, but put another gin in, and and you know well the the other guy didn't know that he did that. And the other guy assumed that their that their deal meant that uh that you know both people that that you know both of them wouldn't have any more gins in their deck during the next game. So I don't know if he won because of that gin. I'm assuming he did, which is why everyone's like going all crazy about it. Um, I don't really have too much intel, but I know like a lot of the people who watch my channel don't really know about uh who Patrick Hoban is. He's a very famous person, if you don't know. He wins a lot of tournaments. Supposedly he cheats, but you still gotta give him respect for going to all those places and winning. Even if he is a pompous nincompoop. Anyway, so yeah, so he so basically he didn't lie because he cited out the gin like uh, he said he was going to, but he put another one in. That's the part that got everyone like, really? Like, like, why would he do that? It's it's like, he didn't, it's not cheating, basically, because cheating would be to be dishonest uh, in a means so that you can gain an advantage. He wasn't dishonest at all, and um, he wasn't breaking any rules either because in, because uh, when the tournament, because basically in tournaments, uh, you, you're not, 
you're not technically supposed to tell anything your you're you're not supposed to tell your opponent anything that's like legit like like you're not supposed to tell them how many copies of a card you have in your deck and basically it's it's just simple so he used deception to make his opponent think that he was actually uh you know and this is in my opinion this is like a terrible thing to do although it is the other guy's fault for listening to him because uh if you don't know who Patrick Hoban is then uh it's it's probably your own problem but uh I think a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh community doesn't like him and I wouldn't really blame them anyway so I do understand that this is a little bit of late news to about a good amount of you if if you know you're still like on this you know you want to hear people's opinion on this and um you know I, I made this at this time so that uh, people could so so that I, I really hope that this is one of the last videos made on it because I don't think we should linger on this much longer why because I read Patrick Hoban's article about um, why he did why he did it why he doesn't consider it cheating and in reality he did, he he has done this before he has made uh, agreement with his opponent in a tournament especially during uh, the D rulers format um, I remember he wanted he, he wanted both of them to side out a uh, return from a different dimension not because but only because well, or, so only because that uh, he didn't want his opponent to gain be his opponent would gain too much of an advantage over him if if they had returned to different dimension in deck in their deck and uh, he won because both of them sided out sided it out because returning to different dimension was the only way for his opponent to get an advantage over him and he knew that I don't know if his opponent knew that but yeah and uh, he was talking a lot about how uh, you know there there are tons of other cards that could like you know do the same thing like uh, he was talking about how vanities is just you know like you know like uh, the hype and uh, how it's it, it really could have done the same thing as the gin that he set it out um, and to me it's it's just like I understand that he's he's a constant tournament player he even talked about how you know sometimes you have to like deceive your opponent to win and I don't really I don't really agree with him but the thing that I do agree with is that you should not trust your opponent especially if you don't know them don't trust your opponent to uh, convince you into citing a card out especially when you, you really don't have to if, if they like if if your opponent wants you to decide a card out, just just don't. Because if you know you have the upper advantage, what's the point? Now, uh, it's really, it's really it. You, you shouldn't let. Uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, leave a like, all that, whatever. Don't really care. Uh, and I'll see you guys on.